Our game today against Azorius Delver is brought to you by the Kumena Tyrants of Patreon level over at patreon.com. Check out the video now. Um, this is a fine... Uh, I wouldn't say it's fine, but I guess it depends on what we're playing against. Uh, it's interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, let's keep. Let's see what happens. This is definitely not a hand that... Ooh, basic island. And nothing. All right, drawing another island was not great. Oh. Play a vial. All right, so this is Delver. Nope, it's fine. Likely Delver, I should say. All right, our opponent plays another island. Hopefully hit a chalice. I guess hitting a chalice wouldn't be great. Um, uh, without counter spell. Although the biggest thing is uh, we, since we're playing against Delver, uh, true name is kind of like a house against Delver. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not too, oh, there's a Tundra. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, so maybe this isn't... Let's see what they get. Batter Skull. Okay, cool. I think we're in okay shape, though. Yeah, it's Stoneblade. Um, we're in kind of okay shape. Oh, I hit no on that. What am I doing? Um, because we can just block him to, oh, force? Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're not in such good shape. <laughs> Echoing Truth, that seems pretty sweet. Okay, now we got a blocker forever. I like that. Yeah, they're gonna put in the the batter skull, sure. And our opponent's gonna brainstorm. Jete. You just built a uh, stone blade. Um, I mean, they have Wasteland, so basic island. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I 
uh, we, we basically just don't have a have a reason to play anything now. Like, uh, if they there's a Delver, there's a Delver of Squeakwits, sure. Ooh, there's Chalice. Huh. Okay. Um. So now I'm I'm kind of torn because this Delver is gonna flip, right? At some point, the Delver is gonna flip. Um. At which point, we're going to. Um, we're going to, because they're not going to attack with the stone forge unless they're in like desperation mode. So what we should do is we're going to play this cavern of souls just to take them off the, take them off the, the mana. Um, and then what we can do is, uh, when they cast the Delvers or when they move to equip, we can just, just thinks that we can't do that at instant speed. Ugh, we don't have any counter spells. I mean, they only have they have two cards in hand, and one of them is Umazawa's Jite. So we can actually cut that. So, I mean, if they have Force, they can't use it. Uh, but if they have Days, they can use it, and we don't have an answer to that, really. Um, Dark Shiva Gaming, thanks for following, on, uh, following us. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so this is, we're kind of in a, in a hard place here. I thought about bouncing Stoneforge Mystic, like just like bounce Stoneforge Mystic and then cast Chalice on two. Um, but then that leaves us to just getting hit with this Delver for turn after turn, uh, unless we hit a, a Trickster basically. And and so that, cause they can activate this Stoneforge before, um, yeah, cause they can activate the, the Delver. Did, would they have mana? Oh, they wouldn't have mana, I guess. That might be the line of play. Well, I guess we can't do that. Six. Yeah, we can. That might be the play. Because they wouldn't natively have the mana for Batter Skull to, to move the... Like, put the, put the Chalice on two, and then uh, Stone... Uh, I guess that does stop the Jitte too, so they can't put it into play. And we don't actually have to play the Echoing Truth now, which is pretty sweet. Oh, man. I, see, I, I missed that. <laughs> so we should have... Uh, I mean, I guess it didn't matter if we bounced the Stoneforge Mystics or not. They were going to... I like bouncing Delver now. <laughs> like, wait for them to flip it and then... Sure, quip. Let's do it now, just to get rid of... Oh, no! Chalice! Oh! Oh! Man. Oof. Hmm. I should have, uh, 
I should have cast... Man. Oof. Yeah, now we're just dead. GG's. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, man. The, the child, like, I mess up on Chalice so much. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and, and go to the next game here. <clears throat> yeah, this is so um, there's a video early on uh, of a live stream that I did. Yeah, our opponent had a bunch of stuff to, to basically get us. Um, Venser's good here. Uh, I don't know if I like Flusterstorm as much. Venser's good here. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass is good. Um, hmm. Dismember. Um, true name is, is traditionally, like, a little too slow. It did good in that matchup, but generally it's too much, like... Cut some boards there. Maybe I don't know, cause cause Ben like really helps us dig. I, I want to keep. Oh yeah, no Chalice on one is still really good. Um, just j traditionally, uh, yeah, I I wouldn't keep your name in. It, it did good work for us there, but uh, yeah, let's play first. Ugh. I like that this has uh, some pretty good interaction. I would like another land though on the quick fast. But yeah, you want you you never you never you never uh okay. Oh. Yeah, you never cut Silvergill. There's no reason to ever cut Silvergill. Silvergill, Silvergill is the best fish. Preordain, sure. I, I don't understand, I guess. Like, uh... So you mean, like, maybe not cut one of each of, of the lords? Like, cut f cut two of, of Lord of Atlantis or something like that? I, I I mean I don't know like uh I've always I've always been a proponent of uh of oh, my turn
Uh, so of this, I think, and they have disenchant, which does kind of stink, but they don't have the mana for it. Um, let's just do Umazawa's Jite right now. Umazawa's Jeets. Right, they're pondering, so cut one of their ponders here. Yeah, that's true. Uh, countering their team. That's really great disenchant art, by the way. Uh, sure, we take one. Uh, Chalice on one seems good to hold them back a bit. Keeps them from digging. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have countered that uh, that spell, but they did end up having the Force of Will. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and play... I mean, I know they're going to just nuke it when they can. Um, they're going to nuke that chalice when they can, but they're, they are really choked on mana, so... We can do this. Now they're stuck on one mana and they can't play anything, basically. They can't play the ponder to dig out of it. Uh, um... Let's go ahead and attack here. Cast Silvergill. Reveal Silvergill. Okay, we got a second Sorcerer Spyglass. Should they ever get the mana to kill it? Oh yeah, no Stone uh, Stoneforge Mystic is 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 Threat Knight. Well, so we can Sorcerer Spyglass to see what their whole hand is. Okay, so uh, they basically have nothing to pull their things out. So let's go ahead and name Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, yeah. Oh, threat. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that, that makes more sense. Um, but basically now they... Even if they get the Stoneforge Mystic out, it can't do anything. So that's good for us. And they've got they've got so many things. Yeah. Okay. So we did, we won. Um, so basically, they were just so uh, choked on mana that they couldn't do anything. Even if they'd gotten mana, like we were just so far ahead of them. Um, and and their ways to like fetch out the artifacts in their in their hand were gone. Uh, they couldn't they couldn't ponder or preordain to get past what where the the state they were at, so that was pretty good. <laughs> it's the song that uh, um, uh, Mr. Bevers uses on his, on his show. <laughs> oh snap! Hopefully, I don't get a copyright claim from him. <laughs> I won't. This is all copyright free music. <laughs> all right, so. 
So we're one one versus Stoneforge or uh, Stoneblade. Or it might I mean I don't know if this is Death and Taxes. It, it seems more like Stoneblade than Death and Taxes. Um, see, like with one with one more hand with one more land, this would be a baller. I mean, I think we keep this anyway, right? Like, cause we can. Like we can't keep this though, because if we if we play cavern first and then they just wasteland us, then we're we're done. We can't keep this hand. Uh so we're gonna mulligan. Uh let's keep oh there's force of will on top at least, so Yep, there's Delver. Get our vial down. Azorius Delver. <laughs> uh, um, I'm wondering if we should just, for I mean, do we just force this or do we... Because it's such an enabler. I, I mean, they, they might have force in their hand. I just don't want to really get rid of either of these. I guess getting rid of Venser wouldn't be terrible. Um... Yeah, I guess it's fine. I mean, we have enough we have enough ways to deal with it once it lands. Like Yeah, I mean, I, I believe it. There's a few blue white delvers. Yeah. They see this. Yeah, Azorius Delver. It might be Azorius. Yeah, there's Snapcasters in here, I think. So our opponent got Sword of Fire and Ice. So if we get uh if we draw our uh um what we want is we want our sorcerer spyglass so we can we can just neuter it. Oh we can't. Ugh. We might just be dead here. Okay, so we're not dead here. Because they did that. <laughs> so, so like, if they had equipped the sword, then we would have been done. Like, we couldn't do anything to him. Um, but because they... Well, I mean, they might still have a land, or they might be digging for a land. Like the safe thing would have been to to equip to the sort to the Delver. Okay, so they got the land. Huh. Interesting. Sweet. Okay. So we're gonna uh, vial in silver go adapt. Actually, yeah, I guess we have to now. <laughs> uh, 
okay. Um, so we're almost to... We will be at Venter mana here soon. We just need... We need to hit... Uh, we need to hit... Uh, Yeah. Hey, what's up, Cookie Ninja? Uh, this is uh, game four, uh, round. Game four, and we're in game. Th game three of this. Just to show them. <laughs> yeah, this is game four. Thanks for stopping by, Cookie Ninja. How are you doing today? Ugh. I mean, we could still bounce the, uh... We could still bounce the sword. Off the Venser. We're using the Venser, we can bounce the. Play another Delver, sure. <clears throat> hey, thanks. Uh, oh, sweet. Quick Cookie Ninja. Uh, what version are you playing in, in, in Legacy? Mm. We're in kind of a bad spot now. <laughs> Yep, take five. Oh, take seven. Yeah, um, we're going to wait until... The non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't we can't bounce the Stoneforge Mystic, but we can bounce the sword. Um... Okay, yeah. Um, this time it was just uh, we, we cut Curse Catcher uh, just to see what would happen. You know, we're all about trying out new things here and. Yeah, so, so we're going to hopefully, unless they have. Yeah, yeah, unless they have, it uh, looks like they don't. So we're going to bounce the sword and kill the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, we uh, so we played against uh, Epic Storm and Reanimator and Miracles. Okay, well, we're at least bouncing the sword. And they have to take a turn off to, I mean, I guess they can recast it. Um... I, I I did not take uh, stone for or so, swords to plowshares into account there, but hopefully we just hit a. Uh, there's another stone. Okay, so they didn't even they didn't even play it. Okay, cool. Well, thanks everybody for stopping by. Um, if you have an Amazon Prime account, 
Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you threw a sub our way. Um, you get these cool emotes that I'm about to put in the chat now, uh, and it costs nothing. So, hey, it's a way to support us uh, and what we do and all that fun stuff. I mean, we're basically super dead here unless we have, like... Oh. Yeah, we're just... We're dead. Oh, well. It happens. 